Okay, so I'll stand, I'll stand uh, down an avenue road. So I'll be better trying to take your tying down a bit later. From the back. So Kenny, how are you going? Oh, it's wonderful. Listen, um, first a few questions, then I'd like you to sing me a jingle, a goodbye jingle. Okay, goodbye jingle. Um, uh, oh yeah, what, what can we expect from you in the next few months? I've heard you're working on it. Uh, a lot of brown paper bags, Kenny, actually. Yeah. We're working very hard on that at the moment, boys and me. Anything tuny? Oh, yeah, there's a lot of tunes to be found in the bags, actually. I I got told that uh, you don't actually come in here with the idea of doing an album. It just sort of falls out of one of the sessions. Mm, well, we have a vague idea, you know, Ken? Yes. As I was only saying the other day, we had a vague idea, but very vague. What's of Very vague. <laughs> Just a bit of laughter, ladies and gentle phones. Have you done any actual complete numbers? No. We're halfway through the second incomplete number now. Yeah. You don't actually do them whole complete and then finish with them and then start well, another one? See, like, we've got to a stage with one where the next bit is musicians, so oh, okay. we'll have to write the musicians bit. Uh, oh, you see, you see. Do you ever get to, um, you've done your bit and you decide it would be good on its own and then forget the musician? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Somebody stole my gal. Somebody stole my pal. Can you sing me a goodbye jingle? Okay. It doesn't have to rhyme. Goodbye jingle. Goodbye jingle. Goodbye jingle. Goodbye jingle. Goodbye jingle. Good, good, I didn't go goodbye. Goodbye. And now a word for all our American listeners. Goodbye, Dingo. Goodbye, Dingo. Goodbye, goodbye. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> you want to pick them up, do you think? What? Do you think it'll pick them up? Of course it'll pick it. Um, yeah. Is there any particular record ours at the moment? Oh, yeah, let me think. Nielsen. One of Nielsen's. Which one, particularly? Uh, As you know, we've played quite a few of them. Yes, so let me think, Ken, for the moment. Uh, <laughs> River Deep, Mountain Dew. Right. Yeah. Uh, when I was a little baby, my mama used to smash me in the cradle, picking those old cotton fields back home. Cottonfield. When Mama was a little bitty baby, she used to smash me in my grave. When I was a little bitty baby, back home. That was impresario John Lennon playing for you. And now, a few words from him. And there goes some daddy story to ask you, Charlie. So that's what India taught you. Exactly. <laughs> Did you come back with anything incredibly fantastic? Yes. Or was it just a little bit? A baby? beard. <laughs> yeah. I met Donovan the other day on a show, and uh, he oh looked right. a little better for us. Yes, it was very healthy, though. I got a, uh, a photograph of you in the Daily Mirror standing in a sheet, you know, very peaceful. That's called a banous, Kenny, and I got it from Morocco. Really? <laughs> Standing in a sheet. What do you mean? It looked like a, a sheet. Something. Well, they do. Banouses look very, very like sheets. Mm. See, so as the lower classes in Morocco don't feel too put out. Yeah. Having only with sheets to wear. I'd have black ones if I did. It wouldn't show. Where's my couple Very hot, though. Okay. Very hot, Ken. Black okay. clothes. Is, there. Is that mine? Yeah. Very hot indeed. Have you got anything to say uh, that, that our listeners would understand? <laughs> How about Good Morning? Uh, about uh, anything you've recorded so far? Something that they'll comprehend? No, dear, we've just done two tracks, both unfinished. And uh, the second one's Ringo's first song that we're working on this very moment. Exactly, this... he composed it himself? He composed it himself in a fit of lethargy. And what do you think about it? I think it's the most wonderful thing I've ever heard since Niels's River Deep and Mountain Dew. <laughs> It's about 30 seconds worth. <laughs> no, there's, there's an LP out of this, Ken. There's an LP. Hey, listen, you said Kenny Everett. 
It's the Kenny Everett Show. Are you composing this straight out of your head? This is ad nauseum, straight from the mouth that bit me. Kenny. I don't know how he does it, friends. Neither do I, friends. He's sitting here cross legged on the amplifier, <laughs> strumbling away. Guruing. I hope we're going to hear this, listeners, because we have a lot of fun doing them, but never quite hear them, listeners. Never quite hear them when you get home. Well, I will play this completely all the way through, just right. for you. For you. What kind of guitar is that? It's a very strange looking a Fretless thing. guitar. Nobody's boy. You hear that, listeners? <laughs> How's business with Apple? Oh, it's it's one I could I couldn't I, I mean what can I say? You couldn't ask for any. I couldn't ask couldn't. for any more tapes or bits of paper. <laughs> mm-hmm. They won't get that either. But still. <coughs> <sighs> so what, uh, wonderful radio wonders. Ask me a few questions. Okay, Kenny. What are you doing? Well, at the moment I'm having a daily show come on soon. Really? Yeah. So they haven't sacked you? No. <laughs> I was getting you a job with the Isle of Man. Really? Oh, yeah. yeah. I'll put in a word for you. Thank you. With um, Ronald Manx. I might need it. <coughs> if you were stranded away on a desert island... Yeah. What, for, what one gramophone record would you take with you? Excluding the Bible and Sergeant Pepper as obvious choices. <laughs> One gramophone record. Mm. Uh, it hasn't been made yet. Oh, you don't think there's any records worth <laughs> talking no, Not all the way to a desert island. Yeah. There's hair in my sort of. When you produce something of, of such a high standard as your last album undoubtedly was. High standard. High standard. Don't you think that you've really got to strive, like... No. ...to produce something no, a little I, bit better? It only got high because everybody said how high it was. It's no higher than it was when we made it. <laughs> yes. The hidden meanings on that one, ladies and gentlemen. No, what I mean, Kenny, is that, um... Uh, you see... It doesn't pose a problem to us. It was so long ago, we've forgotten what it was about anyway. And let me put it this way. That's it. <laughs> hey, listen, um, you were saying uh, last time that I met you that um, you hadn't really had a chance to listen to it, Sergeant Pepper, because you've oh, yeah. been so busy making it. Um, I don't think I ever did listen to it since, since we made it properly. You haven't sat down? bits of it, yeah. yeah. You haven't really sat down and... Not since... I mean, I played it just after we made it, and that's it, really. Yeah. But I like to hear it on the radio. All right. Shall I play it? Yes, that'll be nice. Ladies and gentlemen, Sergeant Pepper. Mm. Do you think Paul and you could do a, a duo harmony jingle? Well, you'd have to get him. Paul? Paul? Yeah? Can you come and do a goodbye jingle? Oh, well, sure, well, that's a pretty wonderful idea. Goodbye to Kenny jingle, and Verity is our very pals. Jingle, Goodbye jingle, to Kenny jingle, and Verity is our very pals. Very pals. Goodbye jingle, to Kenny jingle, and Verity is our very pals. Goodbye, Kenny and Verity. Goodbye to Kenny and Verity. He is our very pals. Goodbye, Kenny and Verity. Goodbye to Kenny and Verity. He is our very Goodbye, Kenny Everett. Goodbye, Kenny Everett. Goodbye, Kenny Everett. Goodbye, Kenny Everett. Goodbye, Jimmy Everett. Boris Karloff. Goodbye, Boris. Melanie McCurry. Goodbye, Melanie. Goodbye to Kenny Everett. And old man Everett, too. Goodbye. Rousing crescendo. And it's a goodbye, rousing crescendo. Thank you, John. Wonderful. Thank you, Paul. <laughs> Tiny song. Tim, play Tiny Tim. Not that you got to play. <laughs> Tiny Tim.
Yeah. He's the greatest ever, man. He's the greatest. Oh, you know, he's the greatest. You see. Yeah. You see if I ain't right, Kenny Everett. Really, really. He's the greatest of his song. seller on earth, man. Play Tiny Tim, gentle readers. No, Tiptoe no, no. through the two left. It's not. He's real. He's real, man. We saw him. He's like her, but he's much better. He's yeah. seen great, really. He's good. He's great. I mean, he's good with it. It's like it's a funny joke at first, yeah. but it's not really. He's, he's real, it's, and it's true. How old is he? Tiny Tim for think? president, or Tiny Tim for queen. Tiny Tim for president. Tiny Tim. Well, that's it, really. Yeah. Thank you, Ronald. He'd like to interview with my cohorts yeah. for the following few months show. What is it? It's the, the Kenny Everett show. Yeah. Hello, the Kenny Everett Kenny. show. The well, it's nice to be on the air again. Beetle George speaking from EMI Studios. <laughs> <laughs> Sing goodbye I'm to me. So it's my last show Kennedy. next week. Is it? Mm. Got the sack. Goodbye, Kenny. No, I've got See you in the morning. Goodbye, Kenny. See you at the dawning. Goodbye, Kenny. It's nice to see you back. <laughs> Bye, Kenny. We hear you've got the sack. Oh. Goodbye, oh. Kenny. We see you, you in the back. morning. <laughs> Goodbye, <laughs> Kenny. <laughs> see you in the morning. <laughs> Ruby, Ruby, <laughs> Kenny. Kenny, then the niggas down and getting out there. Ruby, so nice. Goodbye, Kenny. Goodbye, Paul. Bye, Kenny. Goodbye, Ringo. Bye, Kenny. Oh, Goodbye, it's John. Really nice to be here. You've got an LP, though. <laughs> Okay, Henry, I'll do a rough voice now. A rough voice over. Then you can play your bits to it. Goodbye, Kenny, and thank you for all you've done for us in the past. It's been a pleasure. You're wrong, Kenny. It has not been a pleasure. It has. It has not. Repeat, not. N O T O. Because a rising chorus of strawberry fields forever in jazz tempo. Strawberry fields forever. Let me take you down. Because I'm going to Strawberry Fields. But nothing is real. Nothing to be going with. I tell you. Strawberry Fields forever. Thank you. That's it. That's it. It's just don't play like it. Can't play it. Put it on. It's bloody paid, Mark. Seven and a half. Oh, you crumbs. Well, that goes for seven and a half. Is it? Is it? Is it? Is it? Is it? That's only the first track. No, let's play it through there on the fourth track. Pure line, CGMI, paper color. God. Hey, I'm going to get me cat. No, I'm just going to play it back here. Five, zero. 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 Well, here I am, folks, Tony Olivestone at the EMI Recording Studios. And the fantastic sound you go around you is that of the incredible people preparing for a new album, Hollow on the Stars of Pepper. This really is a fantastic song. I've got John Lennon right next to me banging on a drum. Paul McCartney is playing lead guitar. Ringo is presently walking around thinking up new ideas. The whole scene is quite incredible. A legend is being created right here in the studio. And I'm standing right here reporting to you live from London at a Beatles recording session. And now, it's time for a Revive 45. And this week we present Valley Rudy. Remember him? I was a big singing star of the 30s. But now my name and my fame are both dead. I know it isn't foul, but I simply couldn't care. I'll have a cuppa instead. <laughs> We are the tea girls, oh yes we are, and we say up with up tea, with tea. Oh, rah, rah, rah. Rah, rah, rah. it's such a lovely brew, that's why we say tea, we love you. 
What I always say is, I like a nice cup of tea in the morning. Because I know that after a day slaving over a hot turntable, there's just nothing so mm, as a nice cup of tea. Quite, sir. There is nothing quite so heavenly as a nice cup of tea. Hi, Groovers! <laughs> And on Radio Luxembourg, it's the Kenny Everett Show, and time for another hit. And this one comes on the Bedoyings label. Putting gramophone records on the wireless is such an exhausting business, and while Mr Everett is doing his thing, I'm usually to be found discreetly brewing up in a corner of the studio. Boy, is this a hit! There's nothing that socks it to a real groover like Master Everett than a nice, refreshing cup of tea. Whoopee! This piece of electronic music is purely to attach your attention to the next piece of information. From the new centers of the world, Radio 9 presents... News Time with your reporter, Kenny Everett. Tokyo, Yamaha Samahahi today said... <laughs> While back in Great Britain, the Prime Minister is reported as saying... At this moment of great international commitment, let us all have tea. <laughs> Meanwhile, over at Cape Kennedy, Phil Lungsburst, commander of the latest capsule modulator, is on his way to Venus. In London, the Queen has sent a telegram of congratulations. It reads, Next time you're flying over London, do drop in for tea. And now, a short commercial announcement. There is nothing so lovely as a cup of tea. friends, if the news is getting you down, pick yourself up with a cup of tea. Tea is good news in a cup. I say, why not think about a nice cup of tea? Tea, 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 tea. Yes, there's nothing like it. Tea. Can't you just taste it in your head? Think about it now. Tea, 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 tea. And now, Groovers, the Motown Revelers with their new hit. Oh, we say tea. 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 Yes, friends, tea. It brings the house down. Like a nice cup of tea with my haggis. I like a nice cup of tea with my tea. And when I'm feeling frisky, now I don't think of whiskey, just a nice cup of tea. And when I'm dancing by the banks of Loch Lomond, or I'm dangling Bonnie Jean on my knee. She says everything's all right, cause there's nothing like the sight of a nice cup of tea. Hello. My name's Kenny Everett. Oh? Uh, <clears throat> Kenny Everett. Oh. Forcibly retired at an early age, but never mind. This record you're hearing is an advertisement for Wireless Workshop. <laughs> Yes, friends, Wireless Workshop, a unique new way to solve your sound problems. Wireless Workshop, conveniently situated next to the bedroom in my flat, it is a complete and sophisticated radio production studio capable of making jingles. Tea is lovely, tea's refreshing, tea is such a pleasant drink. That's why I say, Polly, put the kettle on and let's all sit and have a cup of tea. It's lovely, tea, refreshing, tea, it's such a pleasant tea. drink. Tea, so hot and tea, so comforting, that's why I vote tea. Tea lovers everywhere, why not have one now? And all sorts of things like that, Groovers. Also, we have background music to suit all occasions. From this to this. If you need an ad in a hurry, call on in a hurry, call on us. Yes, Groovers, for all your ad 
advertising problems, call 603-4245. Wireless Workshop. Oh, by the way, we do sound effects as well. Excuse me. And now, friends, there follows a short broadcast of jingles made in this studio for the Tea Council. Meanwhile, under an Italian moon... Oh, senorita, oh. when I am holding you in my arms oh. and looking deep into your eyeballs, yeah. I am thinking to myself, what? I am thinking that I must, you must, I must, you must, have a nice cup of tea. Oh, I'll go and get the cups. Two lumps. Oh, you sexy man. <laughs> tea goes with everything. When Sir Walter Raleigh introduced tea into Britain, everyone went, Hooray! 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 Especially the Queen, who said, Forsooth, Sir Wal, thou hast done well. What wouldst thou wish for thee? No trinkets, ma'am, he said with charm, but let us all have tea. The courtiers all then had a ball and scoffed it down with glee. For if you're wise, you'll realize there's nought as nice as tea. And now, Groovers, leading pop star Elvin Pretzel says... I want my baby left me. I said I don't care, see. I'm going down to Rosie's Cat for another cup of tea. Let my best friends drown your sorrows in a nice cup of tea for that extra bit of... Well on the way to another golden disc, world-famous singer Engel Dinkle Humble Dumple says... And what keeps my whistle wet, it's a cup of tea, you bet, oh, I couldn't live without tea. <laughs> yes, friends, tea, it's the drink of the stars. <laughs> uh, don't forget to sing the chorus. You all seem to be just listening in the yeah, chorus. Yeah. <laughs> the chorus goes, what a shame, Mary Jane. Alright, fine. Hang on, I One, two, three, one, two. <laughs>
the shame Mary Jane had a pain at the party. What a shame Mary Jane had a pain at the party. <laughs> Yeah.